name is Elise and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I want to start a channel for a long time, um, mainly about art. I'm a 2D artist, but I do a lot of mixed media work as well. Um, and I also run an art therapy program for artists of varying abilities, mostly adults. Um, some of them have physical disabilities, some intellectuals, some of them deal with mental health issues. And we also get some just neurotypical people that come in to take classes with us. It's at Creative 360 in Midland, Michigan. The program is called Express Yourself Art Shop. And um, through this program, I have found my passion. I've always wanted to do something in art. I went to school for interior design, um, and you know how that goes. Get out of college, don't really end up doing anything close to your degree. Um, I was floundering around for a while trying a lot of different things that weren't really creative at all, and I wasn't really very excited about. And then I found Creative 360, an art shop, and I realized, like, this is why I do art. This is what I'm put on earth to do. So it's been really fantastic. In addition to doing my work with the art shop program and working on my own art both personally and professionally doing some freelance stuff and commissions on the side, I love to teach. And I always wanted to start a YouTube channel doing really cool, fun art demos, sharing a little bit about my process, but I'm very nervous right now. I do not like being filmed. It is not my favorite thing in the entire world. I get very nervous. I have a little bit of social anxiety, um, although I'd much rather be talking to a human than my phone right now. <laughs> but um, through my job, I've kind of had to get over that, so that has um, helped a lot. And then with this whole COVID thing, everything has gone virtual, so I was always kind of intimidated by video stuff. I'm not very techy, but um, just with my phone, I got a free app and I went for it well um, to allow me to be able to do virtual lessons while Creative 360 was shut down and I found that I really enjoy it actually and that I can do it and so I am going to start putting out some awesome content for you all. I'm going to be working on it definitely a lot over the rest of the summer and I'm very excited for what's in store. I truly believe that everyone is an artist because everyone has the ability to tap into the creative part of their brain and create something that touches another person or makes someone think or even just makes someone smile and I am very excited about making art accessible to all. I'll also be sharing a lot of the projects that I do with my art shop students. These smiling faces are some of my favorite people in the entire world and we have a lot of fun together and for those of you that are way far away and will probably never get to Creative 360 in Midland, I want to be able to share some of what we do with you so hopefully it inspires you and you can have fun too and try it at home. So now you have the lowdown on my day job which I'm very lucky to be an artist that also has an awesome day job, very grateful for that. It's amazing. But with my own personal art, I work a lot with different patterns and colors, a lot of vintage inspiration, and I like to let the content of the background, like the different patterns, color choices, um, the different materials. I use a lot of mixed media, including um, torn pages from old books, um, broken jewelry, things like that and I like to let those little details speak to the content of the subjects mind and soul in my pieces I like to really let the external surroundings speak to what is within and a lot of my art mostly dealing with people and figures is about making the internal external so a lot of times their facial expressions will be very neutral their positions very kind of mysterious but you'll be able to make your own narrative about what's going on um, what their story might be what they're thinking about based on the external details with my surreal portraits I also like to include a lot of different types of models what I do is I go online and often look at um, vintage photo booth photos and grab some of those. I always combine references. I don't ever want to make um, an exact person that actually existed. I like to kind of have an idea of the 
look of the person I want for a particular piece in my head and then I grab a bunch of different resources and I kind of combine facial features from each one to make my own unique persona for the piece I'm creating. And it's very important to me that I do represent all different ages, uh, all different races, and also all different abilities. I think it's very important that all different types of people are represented in art because that's what's going to change society's perceptions. The more we see visibility of different types of people and see them being celebrated as beautiful and worthy and capable and confident, that is what is going to change people's mindsets towards those that are different from them. One last thing. Um, I also have an artist partner in crime, Emiliano Vega, that I work a lot with and that also works with me at Art Shop and we do a lot of collaborative efforts together. And he also has his own um, art engagements. He's a member of several art collectives throughout Michigan. And so you'll be hearing from him probably later on in this channel, do a video um, with him as well. So. He ha does kind of a lot of the similar kinds of mediums that I use. We both use similar mediums, but he has a very different process. And our art meshes well together, but he still does things a lot differently than I do. Has some different styles and subject matters and reasons why he does the art he does. So, like I said, keep watch for that. You'll hear from him soon. And we also have a shared Patreon account. And if you'd love to join our creative community, we'd love to have you. I'm really excited about what we're doing on there as well. Through our Patreon, you'll have the opportunity to get free art and prints. Um, you will have access to extra demos and tutorials. You'll get behind the scenes look at our projects we're working on before anyone else does just special interviews, all different sorts of things. So we really are excited to give back to those that support us and help us do what we do and just build a really awesome, inspiring, creative community. So check that out as well and watch out for some demos coming soon. Thanks.